Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you, Virgos, and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those, and thanks to those who donate to the channel, and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? But Spirit, what do we have here today for Virgo? What is the strongest energy here? For my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus, Spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. And going forward. Okay, you have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck with the Tower. Mm. A lot of water energy at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer again. And then you have this Hermit with the Emperor. All right, Virgos, let's see, because I see somebody doing something in secret. You could just be moving in silence here, right? Maybe you're keeping some sort of plans or movements to yourself. But the cards that are coming out is nice, okay? So the first one that is coming out, it says a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. And then going forward, we have what defines us is how well we rise after falling, right? It's that energy of, how do I put this into words? Um, it's almost like an energy of, not proving, but it kind of feels like proving how strong you are. It's that energy of your bounce back game, okay? This is not allowing something to destroy you. Or to stop you from moving forward. Or to finding happiness in life again. What defines us is how well we rise after falling. Kind of makes you think of that energy of the rising phoenix, right? What do we have for Virgo? What is this spirit? Coming out sideways, okay, is the change card. And like I said, maybe someone here is going through this energy. You know, maybe this is a reading to help somebody push through something, almost like that nine of wands energy where maybe you are at a place where you're just like, you know what, I'm fed up. I almost, I'm on the brink of giving up. And spirit comes in and says, now, but there's, there's, there's another plan for you. You've got another destination to go to. Any card that comes out sideways for me, like I said, is a blockage. I don't know if someone here is in two minds about relocating, moving, changing jobs, leaving a relationship. Could be anything. Moving out of your parents' home, your friends' home. But there's been some sort of blockages and delays with whatever this change is. But the energy that I'm picking up here is saying to me that, mm-mm. What did I just say about the nine of wands? The card is a number nine, which could be significant. Show me more about going forward. You have the courtship. Now, with it sitting underneath, what defines us is how well we rise after falling. Is this after some sort of a failure of a relationship? a marriage, a partnership. It could even be a friendship. But like I said, someone here is not allowing or they shouldn't allow something to stop them from moving forward. Yeah, I like it. We have the emperor energy at the bottom of the deck because the official person to me is like the emperor, right? This is taking back control of your life, finding your strength, knowing your worth. Taking charge. 
stepping into some sort of leadership and I'm looking at the number 22 it's almost like an energy for me where almost like putting yourself back into alignment finding that balance again and it could be after a period of maybe feeling stuck like I said imprisonment now the imprisonment can maybe talk about maybe someone here was feeling mentally stuck emotionally stuck and it could be physically stuck, you know, maybe someone here is being released from jail or something like that. But when they come out, they want to get their life together. This is giving me the energy of someone who has learned some sort of lesson. And yes, maybe it was in a hard way. But show me more, Spirit. What do we have for Virgo? I'm also getting something else here, Virgo. So whether this is you or somebody else's energy, right? There's an energy here of somebody who's wanting to go towards another person. I, I need to see what comes out in the tarot cards over here. But this could be someone who wants to go towards someone who they have seen, has elevated, has changed. This woman is almost giving me the energy of the Empress. This could be someone who has been watching you that knows that you have been through something very difficult, but you didn't let it stop you. You could even be some sort of inspiration to this person. Well, if Virgo can do it and get through anything, why can't I? It's that energy of sometimes you have to lead by example, whether you know you are or not. What is this for Virgo? Yeah, I was looking at that card as well. It was looking at me, but I was thinking, oh, don't come out. <laughs> and it came out anyway. But it is coming out sideways again, just like the change card did, right? And this card is a number 11, and it's the whip. And the whip can talk about conflict, debate. It can sometimes, like to me, represent like the five of wands or the five of swords. It can talk about abuse and pain. You know, maybe some of you have been through some sort of abuse here, right? Whether this is in a relationship, whether this is in the past, whether this is from your childhood, whether this was from parents, whether this is abandonment issues. There's a lot here. <laughs> and maybe, like I said, that was what was keeping somebody stuck. Sometimes when people go through certain things, pain and things, you know, you close up, right? You become very defensive, very guarded. But I feel like somehow, some way, whoever this is in this energy, there's something here where it's almost like something maybe slowly melting the ice around someone's heart. It's almost like a, a healing process. So it's, I don't know, this could be... Even something like the dark night of the soul here. What is this over here? Coming out sideways is the book. I feel like for someone as well, there's a lack of information. And the lack of information could come from a lack of action. Now, the book talks about education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery, and secret. It's almost like this energy where someone here may want to reach out to someone, but it's like, hey, I don't, know, wanna, I don't want to reach out to them because I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know how they're going to respond. A lack of information here. Now, the book card is a number 26, which could be significant or 62, but it boils down to an eight, and it's given the eight of wands. Where if only somebody just took some sort of risk, things could move forward very quickly. The Eight of Wands to me can also talk about communication. I also see somebody going backwards and forwards in their head. You know, it's almost like this energy where you write out a message, but should I send it or should I not? I'll just delete it. Maybe I'll write them tomorrow. Maybe I'll send it tomorrow. Maybe I'll call tomorrow. Maybe they'll call me. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on in someone's head here. 
Could be about a feminine energy with the woman at the bottom of the deck. And we have the anchor. And we have the clover. You know, the clover does talk about luck being on someone's side. It talks about taking a gamble, a risk, like I said. You know, it talks about chance and hope. It's almost like... It, the images they're giving me, it's almost like someone here may feel like a door is really slammed shut. But Spirit's saying, actually, there's there's a little crack there. It's, it's a possibility. For some of you, this could have to do with your work. Maybe this is about something you have been studying for with the book, Education. The anchor talks about your work, profession. It talks about settling down. It talks about stability. It talks about something that is long-lasting. It's almost like I want to say like the Ten of Pentacles. Give me some cards for Virgo. What is the change, the whip, and a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink? This could even be like somebody who really likes somebody they work with. Or like I said, if you go to uni or college, maybe there's somebody there that you really like. Hearing something about a work placement as well. What is this spirit? Hmm, it's coming in the reverse. <laughs> it's the justice. It's in the reverse. And like I said, oh, Queen of Pentacles is wanting to turn over in my hands as well here. So for some of you, like I said, you may have been through something where you felt like it was unfair. The justice in the reverse can also talk about someone who, you know, has a lack of accountability for their actions, for their choices, for their decisions. I don't know if this is about a marriage with that Queen of Pentacles turning over. But the justice in the reverse can talk about bad karma. It can talk about someone who maybe does things on the wrong side of the law. But it does talk about guilt and dishonesty. Alright. So, show me more. Yeah, now you have the King of Pentacles coming out. We just saw the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That's your energy here. So, I don't know if this is about a business, like I said. But show me more. This could be a, a divorce, a separation. The devil. Capricorn energy. So this is saying that something here was toxic. Something here, you know, is giving the tower energy. Something here wasn't built on a solid foundation. So it feels like spirit had to step in. But the question is, why, why did the tower come down? What was unhealthy about this situation? Because it feels like somehow, some way with the devil out here, it will say to me that um, a situation, like I said, you know, it, it wasn't serving you. It was time for you to let it go. It was time for you to separate. It's time for you to grow, change. Someone here has a bigger purpose. And I feel like you were staying in a situation where maybe it became complacent, comfortable, even if it was toxic. It was familiar. But where was the growth? Clarify these cards. What's the justice in the reverse? You have the five of wands. Conflict, drama, chaos here. Too many people being involved in a situation here. What's the five of wands? Four of Cups. See, whatever this is, it caused somebody to miss some sort of opportunity. This could also be saying to me that, you know, someone was in a situation where they just had become bored of repeating the same thing every day. Is this arguments every day? Is this fights every day? Is this finding out somebody's cheating every other month, week? So now do you see why the devil is here?
The Four of Cups also about someone who may be sitting down and contemplating, reflecting. Show me more. What's the King of Pentacles? Yeah, what's underneath this? Queen, the Sun, Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. Uh, you get this energy quite a lot, okay? It's giving me two energies, right? For some of you, this definitely could have something to do with a child, you know? Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. It could be dealing with a Leo. But you have this Seven of Swords with the Ace of Swords right next to it, and that makes the Eight of Swords someone in some sort of a mental prison about some sort of deception, lie, cheating, somebody that was trying to get away with something. But you have the sun with this two of wands where it's saying to me, spirit saying, hey, listen, we had to expose something so that you can make a better choice for yourself. What's the king of pentacles? King of pentacles is the nine of wands. There's that wounded warrior. There's that repetitive energy, right? Every day is a battle. But I always say I like the Nine of Wands, even though they have been through something difficult and hard and tough and painful and probably scary. The Nine of Wands is where I was saying, you know, spirit puts you through that energy where, hey, listen, what are you going to do? Are you going to give up? I was saying the book was the eight of wands and he has that eight of wands behind him because he's holding on to the ninth wand which is still to me showing me like the ace of wands this is someone who's going to get up brush themselves off and you know what they're going to move forward and they're going to do it with their head held high these wounds and these scars that this person has shows that you know what yes i've been through a lot but guess what it didn't keep me down i'm going to still keep going and this is that energy where I always get where it's almost like you sticking up two fingers to the past. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. With the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. And the World card, yeah, and the Death card right behind it. I feel like someone either chooses to be single, but there's definitely an energy here of dropping some sort of a burden. You're not doing it anymore. Someone could have got some sort of good advice. Maybe someone spoke to a friend or something like that. Maybe your friend or a family member has been telling you for a while, let this go. Let it go. What's the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands? The Six of Cups still looking back to the past. Yeah, something heavy here about a child or a father energy. Something to do with family. Or it could, like I said, be something to do with someone's childhood. What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? The Sun card. Most of the words almost came out of my mouth saying maybe this has something to do with a son. A, a, a boy, child, maybe. But the sun card could be saying to me it has something to do with something being exposed. What's the sun? It could also be that, you know, maybe someone thought they had found happiness. This also talks about maybe somebody here thought, you know, that something would be successful. But it looks like something here has made someone angry or made life challenging for someone here because they may have invested in something for a while. Seven of Pentacles. I could see this as I put six months into that. I put six years into that situation just to, for what? To be left with one pentacle just to have to start again? What's the devil? What's the devil? Page of Wands in the reverse. Someone here could be... I like to say as self-medicating, okay, to deal with whatever this pain is. 
the page of wands in the reverse can just talk about now someone here, you know, has a lack of direction. They're not seeing life in a positive view. This talks about someone who may not even be communicating with people. They may have shut themselves off from the world. What's the page of wands in the reverse? Yeah, seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. There's that nine of cups. I don't know if someone here is drinking too much, but there's that energy of defensive. Heavy marriage energy coming out here. This could even be like someone here was, um, I was going to say engaged to someone. Maybe someone was like kind of getting ready to en get engaged to somebody and then this happens. You see how spirit saved you though? It's about seeing the bigger picture of whatever this situation is. What's the page of wands in the reverse? Someone here is coming across as a little bit unstable. The Two of Cups. Somebody thought something was mutual. Again, what did I just say about a proposal? What's the Two of Cups? Six of Pentacles, show me more. What's coming out sideways? The Wheel of Fortune. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles. So again, this could have something to do with a business. Um... Sometimes I see the Six of Pentacles as almost like a deal or... Show me more. Temperance. Divine Intervention, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know if someone um, here feels like, like I said, they put a lot of effort into something or they invested a lot into someone. Maybe you showered somebody with gifts. Maybe you thought like you... You know, we're doing enough to please someone. Maybe you was in the energy of people pleasing, right? In the terms of maybe, like I said, maybe wanting to hold on to somebody. Or maybe some, you found out someone only was interested in finances or money. Or again, Six of Pentacles can talk to me about maybe you found out somebody was giving to two. I don't know if this was in a workplace. Some of you, somehow you're finding peace though. I don't know where you're getting that from or what is helping you. The Wheel of Fortune, did it come out sideways? With the full card is, is what I was saying, almost like spirit saying, hey, listen, your destiny is ahead of you. But show me more. What is this with courtship and book? What is this for Virgo? Coming out. Hangman. Stuck energy. Pisces energy. Temperance landed on the devil. Hmm. Someone's got to bring back some sort of moderation here or they got to bring back some sort of balance here to whatever this devil energy is. I do feel like this is some sort of um, overindulgence here. I guess spirit is saying, hey, listen, patience is needed. Yeah, three of wands. Show me more. Sagittarius energy with a temperance. Hierophant. Show me more. What's the hangman? So you've got quite a few major arcanas out here. The hangman, someone stuck on the deception. Mm -hmm. Seven of swords. Liar, cheater, thief. Dishonesty. 
it's almost that energy if i can let somebody get this close to me or somebody was this close to me or at least i thought they was and they can do x y and z to me why would i let anybody else in because spirit says now you're more wiser What's the seven of swords of the hangman? <laughs> Damn. Three of swords. Heartbreak, pain, grief. Again, this can talk about divorce, but this talks about loss. This can talk about depression. Someone may be stuck in some sort of karmic loop. So maybe with a temperance landing on the devil, maybe someone here needs help. And I know sometimes, especially if this is your energy, Virgos, you know, sometimes Virgos find it difficult to reach out and ask for help because they're so used to being the helper. But I really feel like someone needs some sort of help to pull themselves out of this hole. Because I really feel like Spirit is saying to someone here, hey, listen, all is not lost. But the Seven of Swords or the Three of Swords that makes the Ten of Swords. Someone could have even gone through something that maybe they went through uh, before, you know, and it's that kind of an energy where you're like, how the hell do you go through something like this twice? Three times. Four times. Who? I don't know how many times. It's the Ten of Swords energy out here. And it doesn't even have to be the same kind of betrayal. It just could be that someone feels like, do you know what? Is that energy of all my life I had to fight. What's the temperance? What's the temperance? Yes. Giving me goosebumps. <laughs> and sometimes when I get goosebumps, it makes me feel like, yes, I'm talking to somebody directly. Almost it could just be me and you in a room. The temperance is healing. Things take time. But the star card with the temperance, you know, this talks about you not letting go of hope or faith or believing that things can get better or that you will get over this. But you have to fight. That's what the Nine of Wands is about. I don't know why I feel like I'm going to make somebody cry. I don't know. Um, what's the temperance in the star spirit? Mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like my eyes are watering and I am not the easiest person to cry <laughs> you got the two of pentacles it's about making a choice do you pull yourself up out of this or I don't know Without sounding harsh, because I feel like this is a heavy subject, but it's that energy of, or oh, are you going to sit and cry over spilt milk? What's the Hierophant? Yeah, choices. Yeah, Seven of Cups, choices with the Ace of Swords. Sometimes the truth hurts, but sometimes it's necessary. What's the Hierophant? Taurus energy. What is the Hierophant spirit? The Hierophant is the Hermit. Now, the Hierophant can talk about lessons, right? The Hierophant to me can sometimes be that energy of a teacher. Someone who holds knowledge and wisdom. Like the book. The male version, almost of the high priestess. And then the hermit talks about soul searching and doing introspection. It is an energy of contemplation. So again, someone here may be getting some sort of wise counsel here. That's really making them think about things. That's really making them kind of dig deep. What's the Hierophant and the Hermit? 
What's the Hierophant and the Hermit spirit? Coming out sideways is a blockage, okay? Landed on the Seven of Swords. Again, it's the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about releasing things, letting go, right? The Eight of Cups can talk about, yes, disappointment and things like that. But it talks about leaving something behind. And I always say, where is the Eight of Cups going? It's going towards the Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment, which is happiness, which is your wishes coming true. It's an energy, Nine of Cups, of feeling satisfied. But there's something that you would have to let go of first. That it seems to be keeping you in a dark place. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, suffering in silence. The Lovers and the Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad I paused for a hot minute. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll just be jumping and be like, oh. <laughs> now it could be, you know, this could be a same-sex relationship for someone. Doesn't have to be. Don't get your knickers in a twist. But I see someone here who is suffering in silence about some sort of a relationship. That was dishonest, right? There was lies here. Five of Swords talks about someone who do anything, say anything to get a certain outcome. And you could have been really attracted to this person with the King of Wands energy, right? Maybe it was something that really caught your eye. Maybe it was real fun with the Three of Cups. Maybe there was good times. But what was the underlying motive? Because what I see here is Spirit saying, your wish fulfillment is somewhere else. Nine of Cups, which I was just talking about. The King of Cups, which makes the Ten of Cups. And it's sitting right next to the Ten of Pentacles. Where it goes back to the cards that I was seeing at the bottom. The woman, the anchor. Something that is long-lasting. But just show me, what's after the Eight of Cups? The Virgos. What's after the Eight of Cups, Spirit? <clears throat> Three of Wands and the Judgment. Awakening, seeing the bigger picture. Being enlightened. And now that you are enlightened, you can plan for the future. What's after the Eight of Cups? Give me three cards for going forward for Virgo. <laughs> What's after the Eight of Cups? You have the Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles? A new opportunity beginning from the universe. A blessing. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's after that Eight of Cups, Spirit? You have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there may be new opportunities coming to you when it comes to your work here. But this makes the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may... Choose to stay single here and just focus, right? And maybe that's what spirit wants you to do. Work on yourself. Work on your craft. Get back to your business, your hobbies. Give me one more card. It's after that Eight of Cups. What was that? Landing on the Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. Mm. Ten of Swords landing on the Nine of Wands. It makes me really feel like, I don't know, you really have to get past whatever this betrayal is. I'm asking what's after the Eight of Cups. But when I look at the Nine of Wands, you see, even though this person is moving forward, they're still looking back. So why is the Ten of Swords here for going forward? I feel like this is someone who's fearful that something's going to happen again. But what's the Ten of Swords? The Sun card.
Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups again. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. What's the Ten of Swords and the Sun card? Landing on the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Uh, it was kind of makes me feel like this energy of after darkness comes the light. Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck. This is things turning in your favor. The Sun card talks about, like I said, happiness, joy. Warmth, fun, success, a rebirth. In this deck, the sun card, it talks about all is well. All is well after whatever this ten of swords is. All right, just one more. I'm going to get some advice. What is this? Landing on a nine of wands, a whole new world, a new beginning, a new chapter. Landed on a nine of wands, stop looking back. Spirit says that is over. Ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like somebody goes backwards and forwards here. Okay. Give me some advice for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for my Virgos? Give me two more. And one more. Okay. So we have the king card coming out. I could be talking to masculines. doesn't have to be. But the king card coming out here, it says bestie. It says road trip. It says we are on the move. It says let's go. All right. Let go of that negativity. You have landing on the two of cups. So number four. So again, I don't know, emphasizing a marriage, someone you lived with, some of you, that's maybe what you are going towards. It says, why are you sat around doing nothing? It says, dreams don't chase you. It says, you've got to chase them. And then you have this number two landing on the change, which to two is giving me again this energy of making a choice. So, and I think that change at the beginning came out sideways, right? It says, why are you pleasing everyone else but not yourself? It says you have to live with yourself 100% of the time. So again, this energy of somebody wearing some sort of mask or facade, you know, but it's really not. You're not happy inside or it says you're not at least 100% happy inside where spirit, like I said, is giving you some sort of opportunity here. To maybe find that happiness. And even for some of you, like I said, even though we have the courtship out here, you could be choosing to just invest in you. Invest in what you love to do. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. But it's getting back to that energy of love. Right? Right? And I always say it, the highest vibration of all. Because right now it feels like someone is in a very low vibration. And especially for me to be doing a reading and for me to feel that emotion of wanting to cry, mm, that's pretty deep. So, Virgos, that is what I have picked up here today for you guys. I almost want to say, no, I mean, that's what I picked up here today. If anything has resonated with you, I ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.